Welcome back from a Graphic Extras. In this video I'm just going to show you that you can use the Andrews plugins with Photoshop Actions. So basically if you have some nice effects that you really like and you want to apply them again and you want to combine them, you can use Photoshop Actions. It's basically the same way with all actions. You have to actually record them. Just go to the Actions palette. And I'm just going to go over here. There's Actions palette over here. And I want to set up a new action. Create a new action. So record and now just go I'm quickly going to go through a few I'm not going to obviously do all of them but so color grayscale now I can set it to anything I can modify the various settings apply that and straight away you notice down there it's actually added to the Photoshop actions so next thing to do obviously is maybe to apply some other filters and I'm just going to go for the threshold X filter, uh, AP threshold, and threshold cutouts. Now you can modify the effect there. It, this one is actually a sort of uh, a grainy effect design, so plug in. Right, just going to go with that. Looks quite nice. Little, just zoom in a little bit. Yep, add some nice grain to that. So click OK. Now, that's and notice there it's added to the action still as before, and now I can go to filter, and I'm going to blur that because I don't actually want the uh, this grain so much. I'm just going to blur all the grain. So just and this one's actually combines a sort of triangular blurring as well as a square blurring. Just going to mix those. That creates a nice little edge to that as well. Click OK. Right, so now that effect has been saved. Well, I actually have to finish the action, of course. And I'm just going to stop the action. And that's that. So it's actually been recorded. Now I can go back, obviously, or I can change the image. So I'm just going to go to the history palette. I'm just going to go back again. Maybe let's apply a different color to it, make it slightly different. So now I can actually run by the Photoshop actions, just go there, play that, and it will run through the various actions. And there you have it. Very quick and simple. And you can now, of course, use that as many times as you want that Photoshop action. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.